Ladies and gentlemen, Simon Mike, another vlog. Welcome. Another beautiful day in paradise, Los Angeles. Decided to meet up with the homegirl, Boom. Boom, fam. But I call her Boom. Stacy D. Seen her on the grams for a while. Uh, she's been an internet friend, so we both decided that we were going to hang out when I was in LA. We talked about perhaps doing a workout, but then we both ended up being lazy, so no workout happened. And then uh, me and Connor had the plan, the miraculous plan, that if I was a real content creator, that we would go to the content creator spot in LA, the mural on Melrose. This mural in LA, yep, it's restricted to influencers only and only those with 20,000 followers or more. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have that many followers, you have to be verified. There was something in like USA Today, Vice, all over Instagram that you had to have 20,000 followers or that magic blue check mark and you could go take a picture with this actually kind of ugly mural. Uh, we were a little late to the game, a little late to the game. It turned out that it was a publicity stunt by the one and only Dylan Francis. Dylan, P.S. Side note, Dylan, we're going to be playing Fortnite together eventually, so might as well just hop on. Let's, let's, where are we dropping, boys? You know what I mean? Come on, Jack! Hang on to the thing! Hang on to the thing! Dylan Francis has a show coming out on HBO, so he decided to do this little publicity joke um, because he's kind of like the anti you know, I don't know if it's the anti-YouTube, it's kind of the anti-normie. I, I kind of like to think I'm in the same thing. We like to not take ourselves too serious and not take what we do so serious. You know, people ask me all the time, like, what do I do? And like, look, man, I put my face on the internet and for some reason, these beautiful, beautiful people who I am grateful for, watch me. That's literally what my life's turned into. Or what do you do? Oh, I record my voice, I put it on the internet and these beautiful, beautiful people support me and listen to me. Thousands upon thousands of people do it. And I am blessed and grateful, but I am still confused. Uh, and I think Dylan Francis, although he's a DJ and has like kind of a real talent, I think he's still kind of confused or like likes to poke fun and not take himself serious at the entire world that we kind of live in. And, and me, Omar, Bart, the whole crew, that's why we get along is I think we're kind of like that way. We, we don't take ourselves or what we do too serious. So I wanted to see this influencer thing. I wanted to do a picture. Uh, I have briefly spoke to and talked to Dylan Francis' manager. Shout out to Mike. Uh, met him one time at Reebok. And so I wanted to tag them and just make a joke, whatever. So. Uh, First, we ended up just heading out to the Grove, which is very near to that area, and I didn't know how close it was. Um, but we ended up just grabbing some food, hanging out. The Grove is a super cool mall out in LA. It's like outdoor mall, as you would think LA, palm, palm trees everywhere, beautiful people everywhere, all the kind of shopping you'd want to do. Plus on the back end, they kind of have this farmer's market, which is an outdoor farmer's market, and it's dope. It's one of my favorite spots. I've been there a couple times. You can kind of get any food. It just happened that um, the England World Cup game was going on at the second, so people were wilding out. It was cool to see. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people out in LA, it's, it's a cool spot because I think everyone is kind of like on a mission in LA in a way. Um, and some people might be treading water a little bit, but everyone's trying to go somewhere rather than the typical nine to five city or the typical, you know, stuck in a rut kind of city. So there's people out even though it's the middle of the day on like a Tuesday. So we walked around the farmer's market a little bit, grabbed some food, and then we decided to head over to my hipster verse. You guys know me, I like some clothes, I like some sneakers, uh, and it's right by Fairfax. So I uh, did a little bit of shopping. I ended up really not buying anything, but um, Supreme's out there, Diamond's out there, The Hundreds is out there, all those kind of clothes, which I've been into probably since about junior year of high school, which uh, to date myself was like 2005. Um, I've been into sneakers my whole life uh, since I like basketball, since fourth grade where I got my, like, my first pair of Iversons. But I really just got into the, the, the kind of hype beast blog and streetwear uh, culture along with the hip hop and sneaker culture probably uh, junior year of high school and I've kind of loosely followed it. Uh, I'm getting more back into it now, but I've loosely followed it for yeah over a decade, I guess. So stop by those places and little did I know that mural was right there. So we tried to map it. We tried to figure it out. There wasn't any direct directions. It just kind of said the general area it was in. So we ended up uh, comparing a picture that was next to it and it had already gotten painted over. One, the, there was a security guard there that was supposed to check your check mark and your 20,000 followers, which I just thought would be so funny to vlog because it's so, so stupid um, and funny at the same time. But but that person was already gone, but also the mural's gone. So I just took a picture of the regular mural, insert photo here, whatever. Uh, and then we had some time to burn. My homie Jake uh, from barben.com, who's done a bunch of articles with me, 
Uh, he basically covers all strength sports and coaches and lifters and stuff like that. So we've done some some content together. He's from New York. I, I meet up with him every time I'm in New York. Super nice dude. Uh, was here for the meet also, and we didn't really get to hang out because he was competing full power. And as you guys saw, I was kind of competing, if you want to call it that. Uh, and we want to meet up with dinner, one of my favorite spots, Lala's Argentine Grill. Um, but we had some time to burn. So we ended up going to Hollywood, but it was what? The Museum of Illusions. Um, and, and it's basic is, is shit in concept, but pretty damn cool. So they paint these murals that had a 3D effect when you stood on a certain point and took a picture. And then uh, with uh, perspective and art, it'd make you look like you're on top of lava or, or looking underneath Marilyn Monroe's dress or whatever it might be. Insert pictures, make them look cool. Cool little montage. Um, so that was cool. That was a good waste of time. I like doing little touristy things like that. Although Hollywood is so touristy nowadays um, and kind of ugly, to be honest. It's cool just to walk around, hang out, go to the gift stores, whatever, you know. So then we ended up going to Argentine Grill, Lala's. Kind of move. What are we going to eat? Tell us what we're going to eat. Some steak, dude. We're at Argentine Grill and everyone's like, well, what do you always eat? Well, like, our shit's pretty traditional, but uh, we're known for our steak. Uh, we have shit ton of cows and the most delicious meat you've ever had in your life. So, chimney, uh, churri is something that is like a little bit unique to us. A lot of people eat empanadas, but empanadas are pretty uh, unique to us. Uh, that's about it. Nothing that fancy. I'm trying to think um, what else my mom makes. Some basic stuff, but like good. I've never had Argentinian food. Really? I'm it's excited. just steak and potatoes though. That's what I mean. But like with chimichurri. Chimichurri. You gotta have it in Argentina. Chimichurri. I've been here so many times on the vlog. What's your favorite kind of food then? Mexican food. Like what? Give us a Okay, dish. so my favorite food are nachos. And that's what I have. Is that even like Mexican or is it's that fake? It's not real. Okay, it's fake, so huh? It's like fake Mexican. It's like Mexican American food, yeah. which I love because if I'm gonna have real Mexican food, then I'll just go to like Mexico. And I get won't what? have it here. Over there, I love tacos because over there, tacos are the same, like la tortilla and la carne, but like there's different like flavors, and then they put like different like juices on there. Like a street taco though, just like meat with some like pico okay, and that's so it. Okay, so there's like no, there's like birria, carne asada. There's like hella different things that you can have and you wouldn't even know the difference unless you went over there and had it. So why don't you go go there, get some and bring it back to me. <laughs> By the time I brought tacos back, this is Sinaloa, it would be so soggy. Grabbed a good meal, love me some steak and potatoes, can't really go wrong. So then we ended up rolling back to Barber Brigade and of course, you know I love some ice cream and there's a place down here called Salt and Straw. Looking for a good time? Joe. Oh, yeah. Call it, dude. I don't have my phone, hey, Stacey, my phone's we got dead. You. Hey, Stacy. Got you. You want to call? Call, call him. I'll talk to him. Put on speaker. Six oh two. Aww. Come on, Joe. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Your phone's gonna die. <gasps> Hello. We're calling for the good time. Uh, it is originally from Portland, I believe. There's actually a bunch of cool like hipster ice cream spots coming up uh, in the West Coast, and I love me some ice cream. So we ended up going there. Shout out to the homie who got the hookup. Uh, he's on the Kaizen programs, um, and I got some kind of gooey brownie cookie, wow, 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 shit on a cone, and it was delicious. Ended up with a stomach ache. Diet starts tomorrow. Hashtag you guys know it. Uh, but that pretty much wrapped the day. It was dope, fun. Uh, both. Shout out to the homie. Super cool kicking it with her. Uh, a lot of fun, positive vibes, and that's kind of what I look at the people. One, someone who doesn't take themselves too serious. Two, someone who's driven. Uh, and three, someone who has good vibes, positive vibes. And she's all that, so she can uh, she can be one of the homies for sure. Be sure to check out her YouTube, that she drops some vlogs here and there, uh, and also her Instagram. Appreciate you guys. Salam Mike. Videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Streams, as long as I'm not traveling, five days a week. Twitch. Dot, dot, dot TV slash Silent Mike with two Ks and the number two Mama's Boys podcast Tuesday Friday new episodes. I'm out of here. Appreciate you. Okay, thank you for coming to Mike's channel. <laughs> I always end my videos like that. It's like I'm used to it. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Follow me. Bye. <laughs> You better not put that on the first. That's gonna be. Andale, like the video. Andale, subscribe. Andale, por favor. I need to feed my children. Please subscribe to me on Twitch. Give me five dollars on Twitch. Come watch my live streams on Twitch.